and welcome back to my uh, Paranormal Obsession series. And today we are talking about Charlene Harris, the author's books, Sookie Stackhouse series, or better known as the Southern Vampire series. This was uh, also an HBO series called True Blood. So today we are talking about books 9 and 10. And book 9 is Dead and Gone. Still sticking to that same theme on the covers. I love them. All right. So the vamps have been out for years, and now the wares and shifters have decided to follow the lead of the undead and reveal their existence to the ordinary world. Sookie Stackhouse already knows about them, of course. Her brother turns into a panther at the full moon. She's friend of the local wear pack, and Sam, her boss at Merlot's bar, is a shapeshifter. The great revelation goes well at first. Then the horribly mutilated body of a werepanther is found in the parking lot of Merlot's, and Sookie agrees to use her telepathic talent to track down the murderer, and there is a far greater danger than this killer threatening Bond Temps, a race of unhuman beings, older, more powerful, and far more secretive than the vampires or the werewolves, is preparing for war. And Sookie is an all-too-human pawn in their ages-old battle. Now, I just realized I was calling this Merlot's. Isn't that a wine? I think it's Merlot's is the name of the bar. Is how they pronounced it in the show, anyway. Okay, so number 10 in the Sookie Stackhouse series is Dead in the Family. Cute. All right, Sookie Stackhouse is dealing with a whole host of family problems, ranging from her own kin, a non-human fairy, and a telepathic second cousin. Demanding a place in her life to her lover Eric's vampire sire, an ancient being who arrives when Eric's brother in tow at a most inopportune moment, and Sookie's tracking down a distant relation of her ailing neighbor, and ex, Vampire Bill Compton. In addition to the multitude of family issues complicating her life, the werewolf pack of Shreveport has asked Sookie for a special favor, and since Sookie is an obliging young woman, she agrees. But this favor for the wolves has dire results for Sookie, who is still recovering from the trauma of her abduction during the fairy war. I, I must say that I really kind of like the first books in the series a little bit better. Once I got into the fairy stuff, it wasn't my favorite, but I still loved it. So if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.